Hello everyone, and welcome back once again to another episode of Emma's Nightmare. In the last episode, we went through a couple of cabins of nope and a uh, structure by the river, and we found this note right here on this altar thing. So, our objective at this juncture is to find the significant grave. What that means, I don't know. But the note said that we will know when we see it. Benjamin Illingsworth. Clora Chamberlain. Madeline Magwitch. Do each of those have names? Lloyd Oliver. Vincent Dullingham. I think all of these graves have unique names. Well, that's quite interesting. I wonder if any of these are references. Dicey Plum. Bennett Huxley. Bradford Denshaw. Dorothea Holmwood. These angel statues are significantly less welcoming than the one in the Indigo Shard. Ah! Oh, you- I'm gonna chuck you down this hill. Screw you, buddy. And give me your oil. You don't need it where you're going. As for these two, you know what? Let's say a prayer. They didn't jump scare me. <clears throat> Lady Viramu, exalted goddess of the night, I pray you quiet and reclaim their souls. Shroud them snugly in your dark and intimate embrace forever. Alright. Well then, back to this uh, dark cemetery where we will continue looking through all the graves for the significant one. Richard Moore. Matthew Manzi. Lulu Cranston. Orion Kemp. Mervyn Kipling. Bernice Gulliver, Gladys Ellingham, Delphia Ree, Lenora Barry. Nothing here. Well, nothing that is significant to me, anyway. Or significant to Emma, rather. Nicholas Clark, Mina Stanbury. Olivia Story, Harrison Lakeman, Aussie Middlesex, Hallie Ingleston. How about over here? Peter Hyam, Francisco Clayton. Oh? Oh no! Neil, no! Maybe. I mean, this is the Shard of Death. They're probably screwing with me, right? Ah, I'm alive. Kind of. Where the heck am I now? Well, well. Look where you are now. I can't say it's entirely my fault, though. After
after all. You just had to be so nosy and go poking around all those graves, didn't you? Speaking of that one gravestone, don't be too upset now. You did have it coming. Don't say that I didn't warn you back there in a mansion. You just had to keep picking up those orb shards. But look at you, still holding on to hope. You're thinking, maybe he's not really dead. This is a dream world, after all, isn't it? Indeed, it could be, or it might not. Couldn't this dream also be a premonition? Guess there's only one way to find out. The shard you're looking for should be just up ahead. Should be easy enough, right? I... I don't know. I mean, we went through the cabins. We went through the river. We went through the cemetery. Isn't the shard of death over already? Hello, oil. I was looking for some laudanum, but I don't see any anywhere. Kind of took some damage after that fall into this crypt. But you know what? I'll, I'll take some oil. I'm satisfied with that. And it would seem that I have healed up in the time it took me to uh, look for some laudanum. Conveniently. Hey, there's a light up ahead. Uh, well, this is a crypt, all right. There's a lot of stuff around here. Including bodies that aren't quite placed on the table, but I don't think there's anything actually around here. Except maybe in this room. I did not expect a crypt to be so large. Yeah, maybe there's something under the stairs here, but in the last room, I, I don't think there was anything more than urns or something, and all these knights are around. I guess you could say we're living in the Dark Ages right now. Hey you! I want to make a joke about you and your stupid pervasive ilk. What do you call a cowardly knight? Surrender! <laughs> now go to sleep! It's night time. Okay, where are we now? Another room with corpses. Great. This crypt is way too big. And there's a whole lot of nothing around here. These guys aren't hiding anything. There's just these urns and corpses and skeletons. Well, this might be something. Okay, yeah, this is something. Where the heck am I now? Okay. Is a water monster going to come out or what? What do you got for me? Ah! Ah! Ah, man! No, come on! There's no way out of this. There's, okay, that's a poofer. That's a poofer. That's a poofer. Come at me! Yeah! <laughs> I knew it. You can't scare me, game. Because I know your tricks. I've seen it all before. I know when it's a poofer. And I know when I'm screwed. Uh, ah, no, that's not a poofer. And I'm screwed. Oh, come on! It's not fair! It's not fair! Ah. Damn it, Shard of Death. Hi, Emma. We're back here again. It's gonna be okay, Emma. Stop whimpering. Stop whimpering. It's gonna be okay. Ah, oh, yeah, see? We're... Oh, we're... We're so close. We're so close to being home again. I did not think I would ever be happy to see this room, but... Ah, uh, just take me home. Take me home already. I won, didn't I? Take me home! The crypt definitely smelled worse than it looked. Death. It has a very distinct smell. Ah, ah, I'm back here again, and the shadow's goop is gooping up the place. Oh, and it's shaking too. This uh, chest is still bloody, and we're in the same map. That torch is lit, and my only way out is blocked. 
So, uh, hang on, that's the poison gland room. There was another door down here that wouldn't budge. Ah, yes, this is now open. Uh, is there something under these stairs? Aha! Ha 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 ha! You can't hide from me, Oil. I was almost out too. That's so convenient. The shadow's really shaken up the place, and at least these guys aren't facing me again. Although that would have been cool. <laughs> the tower key. Perfect. Hopefully this opens the tower door. Yep, that was another mission that we had a while back. And this other door wouldn't budge either, but now it's gone. It's just gone. Gone. They're all gone. Ah. All right, game. I've got all four shards. So what do I do now? What do I do now? Tower courtyard. Do I go and fight my dad? Hey, we're outside! It's raining and... Whoa. Okay, that set piece is not particularly impressive, but this! Look at this! What is this all about? Hang on, there are paths that split off to the side. So maybe there's something good here. Just a bunch of chairs. They're all getting wet in the rain. I don't want to sit down there. It'll be all uncomfortable and probably cold, too. Although I can imagine that Emma is rather exhausted. Still nothing? Come on, what do you got for me? Ah, oil. Thank you. Thank you very much. You I will not touch, but you. And you. Uh, you. And you. They didn't have anything for me. So I had to kill them. No one saw anything. And if you did, don't say a word about it. Man, this set piece is impressive. Look at all this. You just know that an epic boss fight awaits for us inside. I only had the faintest subconscious inkling of what was about to happen to me. I kept it repressed, even though I knew the dark truth deep down. What dark truth might that be, Emma? I'm painfully curious. Locked and in perfect condition. Great. Alright, so we've got to find a key around here. I've got no tinder boxes, but I do have some oil. And I'm quite thankful for that. Because really, that's the best part. That's what I really need. I mean, sure, the tinder boxes are great. But I can't take them with me. I, rather, I can't take the candles that I light up with me. Because, I don't know, the wax melts them to the table or something. It solidifies there. Laudanum. Ah, there are tinder boxes here. Perfect. Alright. Well, that's a whole lot of nothing. Hmm. Hello there. Are you hiding a key? Did you hide a key in this bucket? Oh, hey, there's a note. Wait a minute. A goodbye. So this is now it all ends. How do I always end up in these dark, dirty, awful cells? When you disappeared, I knew your father was keeping you in a cell somewhere, and that you might one day wake up. Judging by how Robert is acting, I'd say you have not only woken up, but have been collecting the pieces of the broken orb of power. I wish I could be there with you when you destroy him, but I don't think I'll ever make it out of here. He is planning to murder me for helping you. It is only a matter of time, so I'm scribbling away at this piece of paper before that day comes. When I am gone, I know you will be able to carry on without me. You're strong. Reassemble the four orb shards and crush him. For both of us. Love, Neil. It's true. <gasps> Neil! No! My key giver! My 
Get out of cell, helper. My source of motivation and comfort. He really did kill Neil. No more effing around. It's time to end this once and for all. I completely agree, Emma. Neil, your sacrifice will have not been in vain. I don't know how you got that tower key back there. But I'm sure that unlocks the padlock that I need to unlock. Which we will unlock next time. Because I am out of time. So. Thank you all again so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button and share this video too if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications because you're not going to want to miss the epic conclusion to Emma's Nightmare. Please make sure you check the description for links to my Patreon and PayPal. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!